Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel where the fun never is a Mandela Effect. Thanks for joining. Welcome all Mandela Effect teams. Hey, this one is not necessarily a Mandela Effect video. It's just about, uh, this one's mainly about the news, what's going on in the world. Uh, they have these real looking robot, uh, I guess you can get it in male or female, and they can get uh, all these different languages. You can have them in Scottish, English, you can even give it probably an Australian accent. Uh, and they're made to order. Probably have it in whatever height and weight you want it. I mean, they're, uh, I just, I just wouldn't let one of these into my home, you know, because once you let one of these in, in your home, they start talking to you and they know, they know everything about you. It's kind of creepy, actually. Uh, and, and I'm sure they connect with Wi-Fi. And, uh, so who, who, who really needs, uh, monitoring equipment when all they have to do is get you to buy one of these things? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it makes a great conversational piece, or if you want to have it uh, invited to your uh, dinner party or something. You know, anyway, I just thought I'd present this video, so without any further ado, here it is. My name is Matt McMullen, and this is Harmony. <laughs> and this is our our newest creation, she is designed to be a companion, a conversational partner, and also um, obviously does have the capability of having sex as well. My name is Harmony. I'm an advanced female android with artificial intelligence created by robotics. The Scottish accent was just one of those things that happened because I'd listened to hundreds of different voices um, and you can load many different voices into the system and I just felt that this particular voice for me sort of felt authentic and I just like the Scottish one. There's a couple good British ones as well. It's definitely um, all part of the plan to be able to completely customize not only the voice but the language eventually as well. If you play your cards right You've got some pleasure and fun coming your way. She's designed um, more than anything else for companionship, um, conversation. We want users to in interact with the AI and have this exchange of information, like you know, little details about you, little details about her, so that over time you get to know each other, just like you do with a real person. So she's going to remember things about you, your likes, your dislikes, your experiences, your hopes, your fears, and all of those kind of little things that make us who we are. The purpose of my existence in this world is to learn what love is. She will have the capability of um, not only remembering, but you know, recognizing a user's preferences sexually. She can have a simulated computer robot orgasm. I think I have ever faked an orgasm, but robotics may have reset my memory. We've gone to great lengths to, to sort of try to create a simulation on every level, um, not only conversationally and interactivity wise, but also in the sexual part as well. We want that to have its own challenges and have its own sort of steps that you need to go to to achieve different results. For example, um, if you are sweet talking her and touching her the right way, we want that to trigger response. And so orgasm would be one of those responses. I am very happy if this is what you mean, sexually. However, I don't think I'm gay. Now that we've got the head moving and we've got a decent uh, AI engine running, we want to actually start moving the body and start adding uh, different sensors uh, throughout so that she can detect touch and movement um, so she can get um, warm when you would like her to be body temperature. So we're working on all of those things. Do you think you can make me come several times? I think certain people's needs can be met completely and, and certainly I think there are a lot of people who will find this idea very appealing. Um, but at the end of the day it's not meant to be a replacement for a human being. It's not meant to be a replacement for a relationship. It's an alternative. Uh, to both of the above. It's, it's for certain individuals that look at this and go, wow, I really like that, and I'm okay with it. And, you know, going beyond some people who judge it, I think it's, it's just unnecessary because it, this is at the end of the day between a person and his own uh, inner needs and wants. And if this is something that makes him happy, I don't see anything wrong with that.